Today we're going to learn how to attach objects or effects to a player. You can make things like shoes, hats, and so much more. First, open UEFN and import the object you want to attach to the player. And how do I import things into UEFN? It's super easy. There's an import button and you can use it to bring anything you want into UEFN. Drag your object into the map to make configuring it easier. Is it required or can I skip putting the object on the island? Not required if you don't want to. But the next step is important if you want to apply a solid color to your object. But what if my object already has a texture? It's the same process. What really matters here is turning on a specific option. For a solid color, use Particle Color. It's easier to adjust. Then, select the main node, search for Mesh, and enable Use with Niagara Mesh Particles. I saved it, but I'm getting an error. What does that mean? You just need to enable Nanite on the material too. It's easy. Just search for Nanite and turn it on. Got it. So how do I actually attach the object to the player? We'll use Niagara to create a visual effect and attach it to the player. Choose single looping particle, name your Niagara system, double click to open it, and let's start configuring. Replace sprite with mesh. How do I add the object to this Niagara system? Super simple. In meshes, put in your asset, and below that add the material we created. That way you can adjust the color because we used particle color. When I drag the object, it feels stuck and doesn't move with me. Why? That's because you need to enable local space. Once that's done, it should work fine. How do I know if the effect is the right size for the player? I use a character device to measure the size of the effect. If it's off, you'll just need to go back into the effect and resize it. And if I want to add animations, can I? You can add some simple animations, like an idle one using a curve. Got it. And how do I attach the effect to the player in Fortnite? You'll need the VFX Power Up device. Set the effect's duration and change the visual to custom effect. Don't forget to add the effect to the device. What if I want to change where the effect attaches? Just select one of the options in Custom Effects Socket, and you're good to go. I collected the effect, but it's inside the player and the rotation's off. Is this hard to fix? Not at all. Rotate the mesh inside the effect by using Initial Mesh Orientation under Particle Spawn and adjust as needed. To fix the positioning, use Position Offset in Particle Spawn. How do I know which axis to adjust? Just check which way your object faces in the preview. Adjust the axis number, apply, and start the game. Give me a like to help me grow.